Hey everyone, it's Kevin Oxner with YourMakingMe.com. I want to do a quick tutorial on the summary feature. It's part of the Mind Toolbox, which really just means it's part of XMind Free. This is one of those cool things where if you start using them, and if you learn the shortcuts, you're going to look like a rock superstar when you show off the finished product. Let's get into it. It's really, really simple to use. Now, what it does is it really adds, for the most part, it adds those cool swiggle lines. You can see I've got an example of the summary right here. There's ways you can modify it, but let's just look at those for right now. I think that's the, that's the coolest one. The summary is designed to take a small group of ideas and draw attention to them. And summaries are easy to add. Let's go in and I'll show you exactly how to do it. First of all, we're going to highlight the topics that we want to summarize. Let's just say I want to highlight all of this. Now we're going to choose the, the summary tool. So there are three ways to choose a summary tool. I'll show you and then we'll go back in and we'll, we'll get it done. One is the long way. Insert summary. There we go. And down to summary. Second one is the control, and it's the it's the square brackets is what it is. Control plus square bracket. And the third one is the toolbar shortcut. So there's a little one off the toolbar shortcut right there. You can highlight all the topics that you want to have as part of your summary. And it's simple as going in. I'll use the toolbar shortcut. We'll click on that. And boom, there we go. And we can add our own definition. Double click or F2. Boom, and we're done. A really quick and easy way just to draw attention again and summarize what you're talking about. And it's actually a really cool feature. So there you have it. The summary feature is part of XMind Free, considered part of the Mind Toolbox. Really just a simple tool to help make you look awesome in your final work. If you found this video useful, get the cheat sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.